I'd like to introduce you to my newest project vehicle. Maybe a project vehicle, maybe not a project vehicle. All right, so what is she? Well, she's a 2015 Volkswagen Jetta TDI. So she's got a, if I believe, the two liter turbocharged diesel engine, four cylinder inline transverse, if that's the right term for it. Um, obviously blue. Basically, uh, I think it's also the Highline trim edition. So it's all leather, six speed. And uh, I just picked her up about a month ago. So I've just started to get used to her. Get used to actually owning a standard vehicle. That's a new one for me too. But uh, let me take you for a walk around. We'll talk about what this guy's gonna turn into. So at this point in time, I don't have a name for her. It's definitely her because it's a few, it has to be a her. But uh, yeah, give her the walk around. She's pretty much flawless. She has about she has 230,000 kilometers on her. Doesn't scare me too much. It's a diesel. Good uh, maintenance record. The only flaw is this this door. Door panel's damaged, but I can overlook that for now. I might try and fix it myself. Who knows what happens? Who knows? Who knows? So we talk about this being a project vehicle. I mean, like. What's the point of a project vehicle to dump some money into? Pretty much my thoughts on what a project vehicle should be. But there's basically two big things that I want to do this week. I guess we will break it up into three. Performance, audio, and I guess the third would be, we're gonna put some lights in there. That's probably gonna come first. So how about, let's talk some for performance for a second here. Let me just pop the hood. So these guys come with about 150 horsepower, I believe. And I'm looking out there what my options are for uh, kits and stuff. And since it's a 2015, which also comes with all that uh, emissions crap, thankfully all of that has already been dealt with by the previous owners. Even got the certified sticker under there that she's all done up. Stage two of the fix is done. Anyway, so I'm looking out there what has to be done to put a stage two, I think there's no stage one, if we're talking Malone tunes here. There's a stage two is the where you basically start these cars. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Basically you have to either, uh, basically it's an EGR delete kit and then a stage two tune. So you don't have to do anything to your clutch or brakes or anything like that. Might end up doing a bit, on, a bit of clutch work, but anyways. But before that, I mean, the kit's gonna cost like, with the tune, with the, uh, mozzarella flash or whatever that card is. I, I'm not the most versed person in this. I've only done minimal research. It's going to cost about three grand Canadian to get uh, from a turbo back with a resonator, straight pipe, cold air intake, and the blown stage two tune. I'm looking at doing it all myself with a buddy. And who knows? Maybe all these plans will work out. Maybe none of them will. Yeah, so that, that would be a little bit funner. It's going to make it sound good a little bit of coal to the hopes um all right well let's talk lights so these new lights struck my eyes here it has very interesting headlights to start great headlights it's 2015 you know i've only ever had vehicles with shit headlights but what i want to do is i want to put those um three by four rigid driving lights the xl the dually xls right in here I'm not, I don't want to cut the stock grill, and I know I'll lose some light for that because of blockage areas, but I think it'd be worth it. We'll do something in the grill with some sort of rigid. Haven't bought it, scope it out, see how it looks first. But I'm sure I could fit a nice big cube right there behind it, and a twin right there. That's what I was thinking of that. Obviously, if we're talking audio or any of this stuff, we're gonna be looking at a, a new Optima yellow top battery slot right in there all perfect like I know they make a nice square one now had my eye on it's about 400 bucks Canadian what else if we go serious audio on this which would also be quite quite interesting Neckman makes uh, I believe it's a 320 amp alternator that'll drop onto this engine that'll cost about a grand Canadian once it's up here so when we get in this is what she looks like push button start Oh yeah, let's just start it up here real quick. So uh, it's a higher end detail, so it's got the Navi, it's got this. 
there's no way I would, would be replacing this. So let's start talking audio here. We're talking Rockford Fosgate pretty much all the way. So let's just start <sighs> off the head unit there. We'll be pulling signal with a 360.3 signal processor. I don't know exactly where that unit would go, but I have a couple thoughts. You know, I mean, the classic Steve Mead in his Lexus, he put it up here. I don't think it'd be that fancy. But 360.3 to pull signal. We've got the Mechman and Optima AGM up top for power. There'll be probably an undercarriage run of something like 4-aught or 250 welding cable, a single run will have to suffice because you know I'd like one bigger run for power and that's it. In the back the amps we'll be using are stuff I already own I've done, used in different builds. Uh, a Rockford Fosgate T2500 one obviously paired up with a T213 inch sub obviously already own those guys definitely can fit in here. We'll get rid of this stock 8 inch sub. Um, for door speakers out of the Rockford Fosgate line obviously looking at the it's not obvious but you know People would be like, T1, T2, no. T3s in the front, for sure, in this idea. The rear doors are also already from factory, split up into a woofer and a tweeter setup. So I mean, I'm not just gonna throw a coax in the bottom. I'm definitely gonna have to either spend the money on a second set of T3s, or maybe have to sacrifice the back a bit and just go for the T1s. But if I'm doing it this way, I'll probably just spend the extra like, 1100 or a thousand bucks Canadian and put the second pair in the back and call her groovy. We're sound deadening all the way around. I have to get it professionally tuned audio wise, probably not performance wise, who knows. Um, so that's kind of the walk around for this new project. I mean, for those of you that'll watch this, I'd love to know what you think about it. You know, is it a bad idea? Is it a good idea? Is it worth investing between performance and uh, audio in this thing? We're looking at like an additional $10,000 because that's roughly what I paid for this vehicle. Um, it also came with winter tires, which I don't plan on ever really using because it'll probably be parked. Um, she's a great, she's a commuter car. She's definitely a little fun car. I mean, great on fuel, but also can be fun. That was kind of the point of this whole thing so uh yeah I'll, I'll look back on this video in a year and be like what did i actually do with this project did i uh do nothing is it just stock still or is it going to become something beautiful or even more beautiful i should say another reason i want to get the straight pipe and the, the def delete well i just said it right there uh diesel exhaust fluid delete but you have to add right there every oil change or so but uh, my plan with this is I'm gonna drive it for the next couple months to and back, to and from work by my current job, which is quite out of town, doing a good chunk of commuting. And uh, at the end of that streak, I'll kilometer up to the timing belt swap, another oil change. And what else was I gonna do at that point? I'm probably gonna get a quote on fixing that rear door, but uh, yeah, I'll just jib jabber on. I mean, 10,000 bucks for a winter project, bring it out in the summer and have a couple good road trips. Who knows? Definitely, you got the, uh, I believe, lug bolts. There's no lug nuts on this thing. Another one of my ideas was definitely to bedline the rims like I did my old Explorer because they've seen a couple curbs here and there from previous owners. So I was thinking about, um, what, whatchamacallit, sandblasting them and like bedlining them or painting them black or possibly see who does hydro dip around but well i guess that's it for this video ten thousand bucks later and she could be a real beautiful but uh